Good morning. He's getting a drink. It's 10.45 a.m. the 18th of March, 75 degrees outside. How are you today? Um, it's Wednesday. Normally it would be truck day, but um, not today. Rob is working. He's uh, very, very busy. Very, very busy, as you can imagine, being in the industry we're in. It's very busy. Uh, this is a Thrive order I'm going to show you, but I wanted to show you very quickly. This is a new cookbook by Carolyn Ketchum, and I have thumbed through this, and I am super pleased. It's one of the reasons I got it, is I, you know, you can find a thousand recipes online for any dessert known to man for keto, but for just standard meals, I've kind of had a hard time finding more than just the cheese-laden casserole thing recipe, so I picked this up. This seems fantastic. Um, I'm really, really pleased with this Italian chicken and veggie foil wrap. Look at this. I, this is kind of what I'm looking, was looking for. Wholesome meals, a little more wholesome. Um, of course you need to be higher in fat. I, I mean, I get that to maintain keto, but at this point for me, I'm just really trying to be nutritious. Um, and I can't have any of the grains. Um, in here they have, you know, she has a recipe. I use brisket. She uses uh, just some sort of cut of beef where she's just making a standard meat for a little bit. Of, you could just use an any meal. You guys have seen me do that. Chicken Parmesan casserole, uh, Thai chicken salad, slow cooker white chicken chili. Okay, we've seen that everywhere. But stuff like... Um, Indian spice lamb shanks and veggies. I've never had lamb shanks, but I'm just using, this is all uh, smoked sausage, garlicky cauliflower, spinach mash. Uh, these are all um, pork. I'm looking for beef. Slow cooker steak fajitas, Cincinnati chili, classic roast beef with horseradish cream, instant pot meatloaf, which I would put in a pan, as you know, I don't have an instant pot. Mexican cauliflower rice skillet, jalapeno cheddar stuffed burgers, grilled flank steak, beef and mushroom stew, Reuben skillet, French onion pot roast, just some meals that, anyway, I needed a change, so I picked this up. I have tons of cookbooks over there, and I, I really need to go through them and just sort out the ones I want to use, but I go back and forth between using Pinterest and online bloggers to using cookbooks. I kind of just go back and forth between them, but this week, um, no, not this week, but coming up in the next week or so, I'm going to be trying to use some recipes out of here. I don't have any fresh vegetables in the house. I would need to go grocery shopping, <laughs> which I don't want to do right now. So we will see. Okay, let's get into this Thrive order. Let me open this. I'll be right back, and then I'll tell you about this order. Okay, this is meat only. This is 10 pounds, two packages of 10-pound meat. If you saw my Facebook post about this, um, we were sold out of meat everywhere in grocery stores. Now, I knew non-perishable and things like that. I knew that would be replenished in grocery stores immediately, but I wasn't sure about the meat. And as you know, I can't eat grains, so, um, or I'm not supposed to. Zero gluten, for never, that will never waver. Um, but, you know, corn and rice, I tend to kind of play with a little bit, which I should not, because it may, I, I'm learning how terrible it makes me feel. Okay, so this has dry ice in it, and it's packed here. You can see the packing. So, uh, butcher box. I should have ordered from ButcherBox, to be quite frank with you. Um, I wish I had ordered ButcherBox instead of this, but we'll see. This was really expensive. As I said, it's $99 for 10 pounds. That that's, seems really expensive to me. Maybe ButcherBox is the same. I don't know. Okay, so in here you have wrap. <laughs> this wrap is kind of cute. I'll show it to you when, it, when I'm done. There is dry ice, which is completely melted. And there is paper. Everything is hard frozen. This shipped just like yesterday. This is like butcher paper. It's so it's shiny on one side. Isn't that cute? 
antibiotic free, savory, grass finished, organic, sustainably sourced, ethically, ethically sourced. I think that's really cute. Paper, whatever, especially if you're giving this as whatever. Okay, so let me pull up Thrive and see exactly what was supposed to be in this order, which unfortunately it's sold out now. So I, I can't tell you exactly. They took it down off the website. So let me go back to Thrive Market. It shipped super fast. I mean, I feel like I got it in 24. No, it took a week to ship because they were so backed up. I knew that when I placed my order. I knew that. Um, and especially right now, I have no problem with that. I, I get that. Ground beef, 85.15, two pounds. Organic eight piece cut up chicken, three organic bone in chicken thighs, two organic boneless skinless chicken breasts. Okay, that should be in each order. So, Two times that. All right, now you guys know I don't like dark meat chicken, but our kids do. Okay, so here's chicken breast. And another chicken breast. Okay. And then here is chicken breast. So there should be four of those. And chicken breast, perfect. Wonderful, okay. And then here is cut up chicken. There's one. And another cut up chicken. Okay. Why are there so many chicken breasts in here? There's chicken thighs. Okay. Another chicken breast. I thought there was only supposed to be two. Maybe they didn't have thighs, so they sent me extra breasts. No, here's chicken thighs. That absolutely could be it. So, and here's another chicken breast. Fine with me, because we don't eat the thighs. Robbie does, but I don't. Two pounds of ground beef, and two pounds of ground beef. Hard frozen. It's not like they're a little melty, a little defrosted. No, they are hard frozen. So there we go. And all the paper, with your paper. All right, perfect. Okay, now my son can come and get his. I'm gonna put this in the freezer. Um, so like I said, I overreacted and I ordered this and I shouldn't have. I should have known. Actually, I just should have called the stores and said, hey, when's your, do you expect more meat to come in? instead of ordering this way, because $200 for this amount of meat is unreasonable to me. It is far too expensive. I understand this is organic, free range, grass fed, even better than what you would get at ButcherBox. I get it, but it's still really expensive. So, however, that having been said, in this situation, I was incredibly appreciative of the fact that Thrive had meat. And at that time, they had much more to choose from. They had less expensive ones that just didn't come with enough meat. And they had more expensive ones that came with seafood and things like that. And I was thinking about getting that because it had salmon. And then I went, no, no, just get this. This is fine. Now, I've also ordered... Um, some sauces like Buffalo Ranch, Classic Ranch ketchup and buffalo sauce, some Jill's crackers because I those were already in my cart to order um, and I just went ahead and placed the order. Sugar-free blueberry muffin mix and sugar-free brownie bit mix both by Lacanto. Those should be coming in soon. The Keto Nut and Seed Butter by Nut and Zoe. Nut and Zoo just looked really tasty. Um, to kind of make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with all my smart buns. I love to toast bread and smear nut butter on top. <laughs> um, some nut pods, keto creamers, and some broccoli cheddar soup. I can't see this brand, it comes in a carton. Just for convenience, I wanted to try that. Now those were, again, all in my cart prior to this. I was going to order those items only and not the meat. 
but um, in this situation, I went ahead and ordered the meat. Oh, also what has not shipped, because nobody could get toilet paper, and we were literally out at home. We've since gotten some. Not completely out, we had like three rolls, which would have been fine for the people here. Anyway, um, I ordered bamboo hybrid facial tissue um, for $3.87 for three of them. So. There you go. Um, we will use them as facial tissue now as we have been able to source regular toilet paper here at home. I also placed a Grove order, which would have been placed anyway. Um, the only change I made to the Grove order is I added um, toilet paper to it. Uh, eight rolls, I think it was. Or six, I think I thought I ordered 16. I only ordered eight, which is perfectly fine. Um, and actually those will go to Robbie. Uh, when they come in because uh, it's for sensitive skin. Enough on that subject. Because like I said, we've we've gotten some. We don't need, to, no need to hoard the toilet paper. We're okay. So there's that. Um, so I cooked breakfast this morning. I had bacon and eggs for breakfast. I'm going to put this stuff in the freezer and um, the whole cut up chicken, I'm gonna make chicken soup with that or um, I don't know, there's chicken and dumpling. I found a chicken and dumpling recipe. Where did I see that? Uh, oh, on um, Keto Connect, they did a chicken and dumpling recipe. So I'm going to try it. You know, I can't hurt to try it. And nothing like bone-in skin on chicken to cook in the water. Give yourself some wonderful flavor. I'm gonna, in your chicken, in your soup. So I'm gonna do that. But again, I don't have any carrots. And the recipe calls for carrots. I don't have any carrots. I don't have any cauliflower. I mean, I have frozen, but I don't have fresh. So um, there you go. But um, that's all coming up in the next couple of weeks once I get back to the grocery store to get some fresh produce. Um, oh, I forgot to tell Rob. Let me tell him. Let me tell him. We're having tacos for dinner tonight and <laughs> we needed lettuce. So. Anyway, okay, so that's that. Um, this vlog is probably long. I've been showing you lots of things. I know it's kind of a show and tell vlog, but what else can we do? We really can't go anywhere right now. So, but I am gonna go live later on on YouTube today and uh, chit chat with you guys and uh, see what's up with everybody. But I'm gonna go put this stuff away real quick and, um, you know, go from there. We'll see what the meat tastes like and how it looks and how, it, you know, that kind of stuff once we are through. From the reviews, I hear it tastes amazing. That that's where the cost comes in. It's not just because of how it's sourced, but it is also delicious. Um, you know, I feel butcher box is the same way. I feel like it's really delicious, but I've never tried this. So we'll see. Okay. Morning. It is Thursday, the 19th of March, 11.06 a.m. How are you doing today? I hope this vlog finds you well. I mean, okay, I hope this day finds you well. We've already been vlogging for five or six days now. <laughs> this is gonna be the longest vlog in history. Um, and I may kind of break them up over the course of a few days just so that we kind of have stuff going up on the channel and uh, a little bit of a distraction from, you know, life. And uh, so, yeah. So actually, let me insert that. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. All right, so I just said that. I'm, I'm, we're gonna kind of break it up, like I said. Got some coffee here. I'm about to go edit the Davina sneak peek, which I've completely edited, but there's some parts in there that information has changed, so I kind of want to cut that out. You know, I don't, it worries me. Somebody will watch and then um, think, take it as information, just I, and I don't want that. So let's see. Oh, Rob's on his way to the office. Anyway, um, it's just a crazy kind of week. I'm telling you, it's a crazy kind of week for everyone. Okay, so I'm gonna go edit and that kind of thing. And today, I promise, I promise, I promise, we are gonna get to the non-keto non-bread from Keto Connect. We are going to do that today. And I'm gonna defrost some brisket I have cooked and um, leftover, I made it a while ago. And I'd like to actually braise another brisket in the next day or two. Robbie did pick one up at the store for me. So um, I do wanna braise that one and get that one cooking as I absolutely love it. But 
I try not to do them too soon, one right after the other, because it's my favorite kind of cut of meat, my favorite meat, and they're kind of expen it's kind of expensive. So, you know, I, I don't I don't I don't want to run through it too quickly. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, it's expensive. So I'm trying not to be that be the only meat I consume. I try and keep with the ground beef, which isn't my favorite, admittedly. I'm not a big fan of ground beef. I'm just not. Never have been, so we will see. All right, who's texting me now? <laughs> you guys, my husband is so cute. So he goes through his little animal obsessions, and currently his favorite is the, what's that thing called? It's, it's this one. What are those, wombat? What is that called? Oh, I can't remember now. That's the latest. <laughs> so everyone, he loves, gets a video every day of that little critter. I can't think of what it's called. And <laughs> we've gone through goats and pigs and, you know, uh, hedgehogs and just different critters that he just loves. <laughs> I, that's, this is why we don't have land, you guys, because we would have, we would have so many pets. It would, <laughs> there would be no cruises, there would just be pets. <laughs> All right, so, I have been using Amazon when I need something, however, unless I can find it in the store. If I can find it in the store and that somebody can bring it home, then that's what we're getting. Um, but uh, I have been um, sort of, I can't think straight, I'm sorry, it's something else on my mind. So what we do, instead of doing the rush delivery, Amazon has a choice on there now where you can choose for them to ship it later to you later, so like if you don't need it right now, but you know you're going to need it, then they put it on hold for you, and then they ship it after the priority orders have gone out. So like, say a senior citizen needs something from Amazon and they need it immediately, well they will get theirs first, even if they order it after me, from what I understand. This is how I understand. So. Um, that way the workers, you know, the Amazon workers, you know, they are just working their tail off delivery companies right now. There are certain industries right now that are just going mad. And so like extremely busy, itch, itch. Um, so scratch, scratch, not itch, itch. It itches, I have to scratch it. I do that all the time. Anyway, so um, that's the way I'm ordering from Amazon. Um, my Thrive order, you saw the meat, but the, the rest of the order still has not shipped. So I'm out of creamer. Um, that's kind of, I was, that's what I was thinking of. So I hopped on Amazon and ordered creamer, but I'm fine to get it, you know, this coming week. Uh, the grocery stores don't have, well, I'm not sure if they have any today. They're checking for me today, but so far that I found one. And so the other day when I was there and that one's almost gone because in stressful times, I drink even more coffee than I normally do. It's really pathetic. I need to switch to tea. I really need to switch and be drinking the tea after my morning cup of coffee and maybe have an afternoon treat of a cup of coffee because really, I gotta slow down. It's just, so I intend to do that tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go get to work. Okay, well, it's several hours later. It's now 4.40 and I'm gonna make this keto non bread from Keto Connect. Um, this is a super simple, easy recipe, and we're gonna make it very quickly. So, whoops. The exact measurements um, you can get from the Keto Connect, I will leave the video linked for you, and that's where all of the ingredients are. Um, since it's not my recipe, it's I, I don't share the exact measurements. That way you go to their website and you know give them the, the business since they work so hard for that. Okay, so let me close this back up. That did not close very well. What is the deal? Okay, we'll work on that in a minute. Okay, so we need that. It's coconut flour, psyllium husk powder, baking powder, coconut oil, and water. Super easy recipe seems to be. When I get this all together, I will show it to you. So once you put the water in, you're supposed to wait and let it sit and thicken three to five minutes. So we will do that. 
Um, it said it's, they kind of eyeballed the baking powder, so I'm just going to kind of guess at it too. All right, so here it is. Now I'm going to add the hot water. She said that'll melt your coconut oil. It has not so far. <laughs> Mix it all together, get it nice and incorporated. Okay, and then I'm gonna let this sit. Like it said, while I get the pan ready. So she said the psyllium husk has to like, you know, bloom, so to speak. Well, I wasn't recording all of that. So here is the dough right here. And it's got, I broke it into three parts. It's got a really like doughy consistency. I've got a pan heating up on the oven back there, on the stove, excuse me. And I'm gonna kinda, they made two out of this, two breads out of this. I'm, I'm gonna make three. Honestly, I feel like depending upon what you're using it for, probably get four out of this, but I don't know. I feel like this would probably be pretty good if you want to like fry it up and make yourself a pizza crust out of it. I don't know. We're going to, we're going to kind of play with this. I didn't mix it very well in some spots. Like you can see, I should have mixed it a little bit better. But again, this is pretty thick and I don't really want it that thick for the purpose I am using it for. Okay. Now, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna go put it in the pan. I'll bring you over there, but I have to put the first one in the pan and get the coconut oil off my hands before I touch my camera. I'll be right back. Okay, so that is avocado oil in there. It feels it feels pretty hot. Got it on high, but I don't want to really, I'm not, I don't know if I wanna fry this bread. I'm gonna start with the smallest one I have here. It's a little thick, but let's put that in and see what happens here. I think it might be a little too high, but you know, this is my first time, so we're gonna have to kind of experiment with this. But I have promise for this. Ooh, let's turn that down a little bit. Hers did not sizzle. I don't want to burn the bottom. Ooh, it smells good. It smells very nutty. I smell the avocado oil. You see that? Oh, goodness. Yeah, see, that's not finished. Okay, now, now we're gonna let it sit. I think we've got the oil at a good temperature. And she said it takes, you know, three or four minutes on each side. So there we go. So I'm gonna let this cook. I'm gonna flip it as it's needed. Once it gets nice and golden brown, I'll flip it. Um, but we do need to make sure it's cooked all the way on the inside. So I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, so I drained all the oil out of there. Uh, I felt like it was too much and it was frying it and you're not supposed to fry it. So I don't know why they had so much oil in their pan. I have no idea, but there's a lot of coconut oil in this and it's a nonstick pan. So I'm kind of, ah, uh, look what I did there. Kind of hoping that we're, we're okay here. I'm gonna take that one out and let this one just go for a little while. But you see it's sliding nicely. I, I don't think it needed oil. Sorry. So, all right, I am reheating the rest of my dinner.
Okay, so like I said, I took the oil out because it was frying it. And the objective of non bread is not to fry it. It's to have a soft, pliable, thicker bread. So here it is. Um, this one is very much fried. Like it's, it's, it's still pliable, but it's crispy on the outside. I'm actually gonna use that one in the morning, maybe in some toast, but here is this one. It's nice, it's very hot. It's nice and flexible. I think it's cooked all the way through. I have the other one still in the pan with no oil. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, we're all coughing here. Hold on. Sorry, something tickled all of our throats right at the same time. We all started coughing, goodness. <coughs> so something must be from the oil or something. This is getting pretty thick. It's raising as it's cooking. So I'm gonna turn the heat down on this because it's nice and brown now. I don't want it to brown anymore, but it needs to finish cooking. My brisket is here, so ooh, the plate is hot. So I'm gonna shred my brisket and uh, top my bread. You can see here. Uh, you know what, let's, let's kind of pull it apart. Let's see what, can you see? Yeah, so it's thin, it's just like, here we go. So it probably could have cooked a little bit longer. It's still a little doughy. I know it went fuzzy, sorry. Tastes pretty good. It's definitely fried on the outside, which you don't want. So don't put that oil in like I did. The pan over here is dry. It's a nonstick pan, so there's coconut oil in this bread, in the dough, so I don't think it should stick. So I, depending upon your pot, your pan, so be cautious of that. So um, there we go. I might would bake this. I wonder if baking this, it might come out. I don't know, we're gonna play with it, but I like the dough, so we're gonna play with this. All right, let me fix this and I'll show you before I eat my dinner. Okay, so here is my taco made. That's the leftover brisket, it's lettuce and a knife. Okay, there's the naan. Underneath here is the brisket, there's some extra brisket, the lettuce, the cheese, and this is one packet of taco sauce from ta uh, Jack in the Box. That is my favorite taco sauce on the planet. I love these. <laughs> my friends bring them to me. My husband brings them to me. I love them. So whenever somebody goes to Jack in the Box, they'll bring me two or three or four of them, and that's plenty. I only need one, so we're good. Okay, so let's try this. This is gonna be a huge bite. I very much overstuffed this taco. Very good. Can't really taste the bread in there. So I think, um, like I said, don't put the oil in and then it'll taste more like bread. It's very, um, I would imagine you could kind of bump up the flavor of this bread using different spices in it. Seems pretty easy to do. The other one is still over there cooking. I can still feel it's very doughy on the inside. And I made it pretty thin, but as it's cooking, it's thickening. So um, I'll show it to you when it's all done. I'm going to eat my taco now. <laughs>